Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. It's early in the process, but what are you seeing in the new offense? Uh, a lot of passing the ball. Okay, um, good. You know, a lot of you know making it, trying to get explosive plays, throwing the balls downfield. We yeah. got a, a lot of good receivers now, so we're trying to get those guys the ball, get the ball in their hands, and let them make plays. Do you kind of see yourself becoming that creative dual threat quarterback you know, with the passing numbers going up, combined with your running skills? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I feel like this year it'll be you know more of you know passing and just developing and being polished and completing the ball and you know getting completions. We haven't seen you since it happened. Just your reaction when Coach Jaffe first left, and then when you found out about Bill O'Brien, your reaction to him as well. Uh, of course, I was sad because uh, he got me here. Um, but uh, then when we got him, I was excited. Uh, he coached a lot of great cute quarterbacks, um, NFL and in college at the next level. So hopefully, you know, he can get me you know, to where I want to be. More along those lines, when the team found out that Halfley was leaving, how did you guys? Did you were there a lot of the group texts or like how did you guys kind of manage that, knowing like all right, should we all come back and kind of regroup or what, what was the mindset like? Uh, I feel like it was just a team thing, you know. Uh, we had a couple of great leaders on this team, and we kind of just put everybody together. Uh, it's never like who's here; it's always us. It's our team, and we run it. So it was just about that. Uh, we came together as a team. It was like we all gonna stay because uh, we know what we can do next year. Got a big new wide receiver, Jerron Bradley. <laughs> was it like have, as a quarterback having a target? Like uh, it's really good. Uh, if I missed, then I'm terrible. Uh, he's a really, <laughs> he's a uh, he's a really big tar- uh, target. Uh, he's really friendly. Um, he can move at his size, so I think he'd be really great for us this year. Yeah, do you feel like this receiver room is pretty deep and talented? Uh, of course, yes. I think we got some guys with different uh, capabilities that can do different things, and I think we'll be really special. Uh, day one of spring ball. How does the the tone, the culture, the structure of practice differ from last season? Uh, I wasn't here uh, in spring ball last year, so I, I can't tell you. But just today, it was it was pretty hype. Uh, we had a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, and I feel like guys are ready to get, you know, continue to go forward. Thomas, I remember at the bowl game, you said, I can't wait till next year. Wait till you see. <laughs> How excited are you that next year is here now? Oh, I mean, I'm very excited. The guys are very excited. Uh, we just continue to think about Labor Day uh, you know, and moving forward. You made your decision to come back pretty quickly after everything happened. Did you even have to think about it, or did you kind of know you were coming back? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I already, I already knew these these guys gave me the keys to this place. Uh, you know, with half and with that, uh, you know, Boston has accepted me as you know family and the community. So these guys, are, these people, are treating me very well. So I decided to stay. You need two more. If you want. Did SMU have that effect on a lot of the kids with that big upset win in the bowl game to to keep the group together? And uh, I think so. I, uh, uh, besides SMU, I just. Like guys knew how the season went last year and what yeah. we could have do, uh, what we could have done. Uh, we went five and zero. Uh, we had a good little win streak going, and then you know things kind of went down. You know, but people knew uh, on, the, on the team like we we know what we were capable of. So I think we all wanted a part of that. How would you compare and contrast Halfley and O'Brien's personalities so far? Uh, one's a little bit more uh, you know player led, and they're both very good coaches. Um, I feel like there's just the mentality of what uh, O'Brien has is just. It's just what I want. Um, hey, every time he, you know, steps in the team meeting room and speaks and talks, he, he just he makes me smile and make it just, you know, a fire inside of me, ready, you know, go play. So. Thanks, 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 Thank you. Thank you.